This South London derby took a while to get going, but once it did, it was flat out. Wimbledon had the better chances early on, only to find themselves behind to a touch of individual magic from Connor Washington, who's making the most of his move to the Valley, a special strike for his sixth league goal of the season. That was 37 minutes in, but the first half wasn't finished there, and Wimbledon's equaliser was a special moment for Joe Piggott, released and, in his own words, poorly treated by Charlton four years ago. That's one way to settle a score. But the best kind of revenge is a victory, of course. And before the break, the Dons had a chance of that, too. A corner not cleared by the home side. Alex Woodyard left with plenty of time to pick his man. And Dan Shocker rising highest among several yellow shirts for 2-1 Wimbledon. Like the first, the second period took a while to come to the boil. And it was Lee Bowyer's substitutions that really warmed things up. First, Chuck Sanike's strike was poked clear by Connell Truman and in by Jake Forster Kasky. The returning addicts on the terraces were getting their money's worth. And exactly a minute later, there was another reason to jump around. Charlton moving through the gears before Chris Gunter's cross was met by another sub, Johnny Williams. And once they were back in front, the home side took a firmer grip before gilding the scoreline late on. First came the end of the Chucks away tag for this season. After five goals on the road, Anike finally managed one on his home patch. And in the dying seconds, a fifth for the hosts. You've guessed it from another substitute, and one who spent a season at Wimbledon on loan recently. Williams' very good work finished off from extremely close range by Ben Purrington. And Charlton were back on track after a little wobble recently. Toothless, let's talk about Charlton, because they needed that today. Yeah, not great in the first half, but whatever Lee Bowyer said or did at half-time, including those substitutes, really made the difference. And I think Johnny Williams really is the story here, because last weekend he was subbed on and then subbed off again 23 minutes. And, uh, I mean, any former player has told me in the past, and that's pretty embarrassing stuff. So to react the way that he did, to come off the bench and impact the game in such a positive way, tough few games for Charlton, but by the end there today, it looked like the confidence was back. Yeah, I'm certainly right. When Despite home defeats, in fact, the top three going into the weekend all lost, with Ipswich Town dropping to sixth as a result. Portsmouth on fine form. Peterborough and Charlton all won to close the gap on the leaders, so getting more exciting. While Sunderland's uh, biggest uh, away league win in nearly four years, by the way, seen that see them go up to uh, eighth place. The bottom four going into the weekend all picked up points with Wigan and Shrewsbury both winning. Oxford United's draw moves them out of the relegation zone and up to 19th, and it's Swindon who slipped right in.